I'm in Playa del Carmen in Mexico. That's on the Yucatan Peninsula and Hurricane Grace is coming this way. And one of the reasons you can tell is because it's a ghost town tonight. There's cops out in the streets and most places are closed down. They are actually starting to take this a little more seriously as it gets closer. The Yucatan Peninsula is no stranger to hurricanes. In the Atlantic Ocean, this is ground zero for intense hurricane impacts. Now hopefully Grace won't be too severe. It's looking like a category one right now. And this place is no stranger to hurricanes. They know how to deal with them. But yeah, they do take them seriously and it looks like they're starting to take this one seriously. I'll keep an eye on things as uh, the night progresses. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna head further down the coast toward the next uh, major city called Tulum. It looks like the impact might be stronger down there, but it's hard to know. Sometimes as these things come in, they start to wobble a little as they approach the coast and that makes predicting the landfall point uh, sometimes difficult. I'm in downtown Tulum as Hurricane Grace is moving in. Just in the last hour, the winds really started to pick up. The power is flickering on and off. Debris is flying around the streets. Some trees are coming down and there's nonstop sirens or alarms going off. So it's starting to feel kind of chaotic. And it's only gonna get stronger as the hurricane moves in. I'm looking at the radar and it looks like the eye wall or the core of this thing is gonna be here uh, pretty soon. And we should see a dramatic pickup in conditions. It's already getting a little hard to stand in the street. But yeah, here we go. Hurricane Grace moving on to the Yucatan Peninsula. a.m. downtown Tulum, Mexico, and it's really quieted down. The wind has almost stopped. And I think we might be in the eye of Hurricane Grace. Barometer says 984 millibars. It stopped falling. I think, I think we might be in the eye. It's 5 a.m. in Tulum, Mexico, still in the eye of Hurricane Grace. It's still very calm and quiet, and the barometer's gone down below 980 millibars, which actually really surprises me. was not expecting a storm this strong. Uh, we don't have any communication with the outside world, but we're wondering if the storm, uh, if it continued to strengthen as it came in and uh, that it's actually a stronger storm than we realized. It'll be interesting to see what happens on the backside. We're wondering if the backside of the storm after the calm eye passes might be even stronger. Interesting to see what happens. Just before 5.30 and uh, 
barometric pressure is rising again and uh, wind is picking up opposite direction. We're going back into this thing.
the waterfront in Playa del Carmen on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico just hours after Hurricane Grace came roaring through this morning. And you can see behind me the Caribbean Sea is still angry and boiling. And overnight what it did was it actually came up onto this walkway and flooded into that street over there where the shops and restaurants are. Now overall, Playa del Carmen did pretty well in this storm. They had sustained winds of 60 miles an hour gusting to 85, but it was much worse down in Tulum where the core of the hurricane came ashore. Unfortunately, Hurricane Grace is not done with Mexico. It's done with the Yucatan, but now it's going to get into the Bay of Campeche and then it's going to hit the state of Veracruz next. So stay with me as I follow this storm and chase it across Mexico. Hurricane Grace has not quite left us. The core of it has moved inland, but strong rain bands continue to lash the coast like this one. We're not out of the woods just yet. And round two will be in Veracruz tomorrow. Join me there. It's 1.40 in the afternoon, Hurricane Grace is crossing the Bay of Campeche and it's coming in its general direction. I'm on the, uh, it's called the Emerald Coast of Veracruz. It's a, it's a kind of a, an area of small hotels between the major cities of Tampico and Veracruz. And the hurricane's gonna come ashore somewhere in this area tonight. I'm not exactly sure where. This is gonna be a tough chase because there's gonna be no electricity. It's gonna be in the middle of the night. Most of the buildings right here do not have generators. so. Uh, it's gonna be pitch black. It's gonna be another one of these, yeah, one of these dark nighttime chases. Uh, a little tired after the uh, the first landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula. Didn't get much sleep between that and this, but uh, just gotta keep going. This is the uh, this is the nature. This is a uh, this is the nature of this sport. This is how it is. You gotta just go, go, go. So uh, see what happens. Resorts like this one are all almost completely closed down or abandoned, and the reason is this. They are all right on the Gulf of Mexico, and I mean right on it. Look how boiling and angry it looks as Hurricane Grace is strengthening out there and getting ready to come roaring in tonight. This is going to be a wild ride if this thing comes in around here or close to this point. Uh, it's going to be late at night, unfortunately, so it's going to be hard to see what's happening. But man, just the force of the wind coming in right off the ocean right here is going to be uh, that's going to be something to behold and to hear. You know, the hurricanes. This one in particular, I noticed on the Yucatan Peninsula. This uh, this hurricane's a loud hurricane. Every hurricane has its own sound, its own voice. Grace is a howler. It's a very howly hurricane. And uh, I expect 
that characteristic to follow it to this second landfall here on mainland Mexico. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of just keep an eye on it, you know, obsess over it, watch it closely on radar, and really try to fine tune so I get right in the eye of this thing. And if it comes here, I will be right here. getting a little windier in La Viquita. If you look behind me, you can see the Gulf of Mexico, or more specifically the Bay of Campeche, is just getting angrier and angrier. I noticed that the surf has gotten quite a bit more turbulent since I got here a few hours ago, and that's only gonna get worse as Hurricane Grace moves in. The storm is definitely strengthening now. It's really starting to like go kaboom on the satellite imagery, and as uh, one, uh, one follower of mine said on Twitter, this thing's gonna come in hot. This is gonna be a really rough hurricane for this stretch of coast. There's a lot of bars and restaurants and hotels all along this strip, and they are going to take a hammering in the next uh, few hours as Grace moves in. We've had some periods of heavy rain and also some spectacular lightning displays over the bay with bone-rattling thunder. That's not something you usually see in hurricanes, or at least I don't, so that's been kind of interesting. I've been looking at the radar, and it looks like the eye might come right here. This might be the bullseye. Uh, if not, we're going to adjust up or down the coast depending on where the storm goes. And I say we, me and my uh, chase partner, Eric, uh, he and I have conquered a couple of really crazy Mexican hurricanes together, and this is, uh, this is just another expedition for us. So it's wait and see for right now, but I imagine I could possibly be on the road soon. Either way, the whole Emerald Coast of Veracruz is about to take a serious impact.
We're in this alternating pattern right now where we get periods of very heavy rain and strong winds as rain bands move through, and then periods of almost like a lull in between the rain bands. And those periods of storminess are gonna get more frequent as the night goes on, and as the core of the hurricane moves closer. It's just offshore now, and it's gonna be here soon. Uh, we're gonna ride it out either here in La Vigueta or a community nearby. It feels like this is the part of the coast that's gonna get it. Grace has a very large eye, so that means that the core of the hurricane is unfortunately large, and that means that a wide section of the coast is going to get very, very destructive winds. Down to the final, down to the wire with Hurricane Grace. It's uh, rapidly intensified. It's now a category three hurricane and getting stronger so the stakes are higher and uh the eye has just really become this beautifully formed circle on radar trying to figure out where it's going it's very important to me to get inside of it and uh it's challenging figuring out where it's going because it's wobbling a little bit and it's uh trying to decide between a couple of locations none of which are optimal I'm getting kind of stressed out about it just trying to weigh the options. I think our best bet is a town called La Guadalupe, but there is there's really nowhere to nowhere safe to ride at the storm. It's a small town, there's just not a lot of places to hide the car. I think that could be a little wild up here. Tough decisions. Just after 10.30, Eric and I have relocated north about six miles. We're now in La Guadalupe. Uh, we think that's gonna be a little closer to where the center of Grace crosses the coast. It's a tiny town, there's not a lot of places for us to go. And in fact, this was the only place that we could find to ride out the storm. It's just basically an open parking spot of an abandoned hotel. And we think that'll protect us, hopefully, as the wind really starts to rip. This thing is getting strong. It's category three and still intensifying. So we think we might be in for a pretty wild ride. We're, we're taking all precautions, of course, so we get out of this in one piece. Uh, have a barometer collecting pressure in La Vigueta, and we have one here collecting data, and that's gonna be really cool after the storm to compare the pressure between these two points that are about six miles apart and that are both probably gonna go through the inner core of the storm. Anyway, I'm nerding out. I shouldn't do that right now. I should try to just stay alive and film this thing. Uh, yeah, it should be here soon. Right now, condition's not too bad, actually, even though the eye wall is really close. Probably gonna just go nuts really soon and really suddenly.
I of Hurricane Grace, about halfway between Gutierrez Zamora and La Guadalupe. Uh, we were gonna try to get up to Gutierrez Zamora, but we can't. This road is blocked with falling trees, so we're trying to get back to La Guadalupe before the back eye wall hits, and it's gonna be it's gonna be close. It's already starting to crank again, so uh, but we're only a couple miles away, so hopefully we'll make it. Yeah, we're just skirting the southern edge of the eye of Hurricane Grace. We're hitting a lot of turbulence. I think we're driving back into the eye wall. The radar is suggesting that we gotta find shelter fast. The conditions are getting really bad. This is probably a bad idea that we went out on the road, that we tried to get up to Gutierrez Zamora. Probably should have realized that the road was gonna be blocked. Now we're just on a random stretch of highway with the backside, the very intense backside. Hurricane Grace moving in. We have to get back to La Guadalupe fast, man. I don't know if we can, there's a lot of debris in the road. Okay, I've got this power point. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be close. Yeah. Alright, just a couple of miles almost there. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you doing? Fine, fine, thank you. Uh, so much crap in the roads. Yep. About a half mile from the village, and thank God because the conditions are getting nuts. We are getting here just in time. It's like we're sliding into home base. Our wind's starting to howl again. This is a close call. Okay. Okay, gotcha. We're safe here. Okay. Let's go. on the emerald coast of Veracruz, Mexico, the morning after Hurricane Grace came roaring through this place. I'm actually in a small town called La Guadalupe. We talked to one longtime resident who said this was by far the worst hurricane he could remember. He said they'd always miss the town to the north or the south. This one hit them dead on, and you could see the evidence everywhere. Lots of damaged roofs, uh, lots of broken windows, power poles down everywhere, no cellular network. It's gonna be a while before this place gets back on its feet in what was the strongest hurricane they've had in years.
Smith carport is where we rode out ferocious Hurricane Grace, and the worst of it came right after the eye. The calm passed, we went into the eastern eye wall, the wind started ripping like crazy, and then all of a sudden, this concrete roof, this ceramic or concrete composite roof, just exploded into a million pieces and just littered this uh, the entire parking lot, and this stuff went flying around. And look at it, this is some heavy, this is like some serious heavy stuff here that uh, that could cause serious bodily injury and it passed very close to us. Uh, but fortunately we got through okay. Uh, the hotel owner says this is the worst hurricane he can remember here in many years. 